Danny Baby here at Danny Baby TV. Welcome to my first Drug Game Tuesday. I apologise if everybody if anybody says I stole the name. I honestly didn't know that the Yogs cast did a thing called Truck Game Tuesday. But anyway, I'm back on Euro Truck Simulator. As you can see, I've been doing a bit of work on the game since the last episode. You can see the truck has uh, improved quite a bit. I've got my name in the window, yay. I've changed the colour and I got a £300,000 loan, hired a driver. Uh, I've got two trucks now as well. He's got a truck as well. So, um, this is it's all good. And we just need to do a job. So, uh, yeah. This is, let's get, let's get cracking with this. So then, where are we? We're in London, apparently. Um, hang on, where are we? And that's what I need to know. Let's, let's quickly click drive, and then we can find out where we are. Yes. When it loads. Because games like to load slowly, as you can see. Fun. Oh, yay. I was just about to cut this part of the video out, but there, there we are. It's, it's lower dead. Uh, right. So, let's reverse a little bit, and then have a freeze. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so we are. We're in London. So we need to get it ourselves a job. Yeah, uh, great job. In um destination, wrong one. Origin, origin, origin. No, we need the origin the other way. Origin, yes, we. Yes. How do you find out the ones from London? How do you do this again? I don't know. Let's try and find a one from London because I don't like to just drive with nothing on my truck. You know, London to Calais. We're already in London, so we'll be able to do that. Yeah, let's 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 take that one. It's not actually a very long trek either, and we got quite a bit of money, so let's set that as the GPS destination. And... Yes. So, you guys may know, but I've got another driving game there as well. I've got a Seto Corsa. Which is a cool driving game. It's currently in alpha, but it is be it, it it is like as good as Forza. It is a ridiculous game where in the UK drive on the left hand side of the road. Yes. So then, let's go after this white car. I swear that this game really needs to do some development on the AI, but then again, I haven't updated. I am on like 1.3, so I really need to update to, I think 1.7 is the one at the minute. Just, you know, casually, casually pull up on here. And, uh, yay, yeah, okay, good. Come on. I feel stupid because I'm just keep stopping and starting. Oh, how much I hate traffic jams. Why are traffic jams so stupid? Will we ever know? So then, um, I need to find something to talk about in this episode. Which is, uh, which is never good. I don't even know when the last episode of this game actually was. But, um, it's good to be back. And, uh, actually, yeah, let's talk about another game that I'm going to be starting. The Mighty Quest for Epic Loot. I'm going to be doing my Mighty Mondays. However, that game has some serious problems. I swear down, right? I, the amount of time, you guys don't know. The amount of times that I have tried. That I have tried hard to get that game to work and every time that I go on to record that game it for some reason is just like no no I will not let you record that game I am going to be really really annoying 
and say to you that the servers are down. And that's every time. I'll try and get some screenshots on Twitter or Instagram or something of that uh, issue. But it's really annoying because I want to do a series on there and actually just play on it casually. But, oh! Yep, because I'm professional. I think we're doing this completely wrong really we need to get into here I think and then it's going to be better if we can reverse in I think yeah that's better but anyway uh, I want to play that game as a series and casually but um I'm going to struggle to do that because the servers are never online for me, which is a pain in the, mm, uh, yeah, in the mouth, um, a pain in the mouth. I just invented a brand new phrase. Yes, because I'm clever. So yes, it's a pain in the mouth, very much pain in the mouth. Yes, very much phrase that doesn't even exist. Uh, so yes, that's, that's annoying. Very, very, very annoying. It's an annoyance. Let's try not to crash on this journey, eh? <laughs> no, that's not physically possible. You know what, let's get ourselves a, let's get ourselves a, a picture of our truck just for our thumbnail. So, uh, how do I hide all of this stuff? I click on F1 and then I, um, uh, okay, so it's F1 and F, F2 and F3 I press to get rid of these things. No. Right, okay then, so let's take a screenshot, print screen, and then let's turn that off, let's turn on that. Uh, F1. Maybe let's put both of these on. That looks good. That AI, yeah, that I like. I like. Right then, so. Go any point, I would say. Just as soon as this guy is gone, we can go. Yes, let's pull away. And yes. He's got his scan here. And he is doing it good. Okay, so we've got 30 miles an hour. Uh, right. I really hope that I don't crash. But then again, it's me, so I probably will. And I'm hoping that my other driver is going to be doing something right now as well. I just need to hang on. My seat's really in a not very good position. The bit that has the wheel on... The chair was right in front of the pedals, so that was uh, getting on my mouth. It was a pain in the mouth. That well-known phrase that is very well known now. There shouldn't be any speed cameras around here. Okay, so 60 miles an hour, yes. Woo! Okay. And I need to upgrade my engine, because the most that I can do is, I think, about 50, 54, 55 on the straight. And if I'm going downhill, I can probably do more than that. But, um... Actually, I'm not going to overtake this guy in his amazing uh, trucker thing. Car... Uh, yes, so I am going to try and do this without crashing. Yes. But anyway, um... Yes, so I think I'm going straight on. But anyway, uh, what was I talking about? Uh, I was talking about... I was supposed to be talking about something, um... Um, yes, I don't really know. But anyway, yes, that, um, I was talking about the Mighty Quest. That is a bit of a pain. But I'm going to be doing some more Seto Corsa 
Uh, well, I'm going to be starting that now. That's a fun game to play on. And uh, I'm going to be doing lots more stuffs and things. And uh, yes, I'm just going to talk about the gadget show. Uh, that was a really good event. I don't think I've properly talked about this in a video. Um, because talked... No, yes, that's the right way to word it. Um, that was an absolutely brilliant event. Had a brilliant time. It was a month ago now. Um, just the day after recording it. It's the 11th of May um, today. But that was a really good event. I saw some amazing tech and a uh, really good show. And uh, the next one is going to be next year. They're not doing a Christmas one, which really annoys me. I don't think that that's very good. Um, they need to be doing a Christmas one. I want a Christmas one. Where is the Christmas one? But, um, yeah, um, I think they should do the Christmas one, but they're not going to be. So the next one is the 8th to the 13th, I think, of April next year. That's 2015, which, that's about 330 days away, I think. Um, so, yeah, we'll be. Um, so we'll hopefully be booking our tickets. Um, and I'll probably get them for Christmas. And then we'll hopefully be going there. I, hope want, I really want to go to some more events like that. <coughs> um, I'd quite like to go to Game Expo Scotland or Eurogamer Res uh, AGX in London. Um, uh, that would be pretty cool. Game Expo Scotland sounds like a pretty good thing to go to. Because it's not too far. London's a bit too far sometimes. Although it's not, it's not a million miles away. It's it's just as bad as Birmingham, really. Um, and you'd have to stay overnight, definitely. But um, with with Edinburgh, it's kind of like you can just hop on the train and it's much, it's much, much quicker. I think it's Edinburgh. It, yeah, it's definitely Edinburgh for Game Expo Scotland. But I really want to go to some more of those kind of events. Um, if you guys have a suggestion of which one I should go to. It all depends, really, because I, if you know, if you didn't know, I have a season ticket for Newcastle United. And um, it, we obviously play our games on Saturdays and Sundays, and so it just depends. Where it, if I was thinking about going to one of these things, I would have to wait for the for next for the next season's fixtures to come out, which I'm not sure when that'll be. It'll probably be um, start of August, I imagine. Um, sounds about right. End of. Um, July start of August sounds legit um so I would have to wait till that kind of time to find out if I could go but I really want to go to something like that and one thing that was a purchase in result of going to the gadget show is uh what I'm wearing right now the uh the Sony Sony smartwatch 2 which is a very impressive little device uh I've got an unboxing first look and review coming out soon I do need to record the review part of the video Obviously, I've already done the unboxing. Um, I got that. I tested it. I, 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 I was wanting to buy the Sony Smartwatch 2. And when I went to the gadget show, I was like, well, if, you know, if you've got it, I'll buy it there. But uh, they were, for some reason, selling it for £150. Now, if you go to Amazon.co.uk, you can get it for £98. Now, that's a considerable discount. And even uh, at the Sony store, they were giving out a 30%, uh, no, 20% discount code. So that would have got £30 off if we bought it from them. And we would have had to do that online also. Because they couldn't give us that discount at the show for some reason. Um, that would still have been £120, which is still £20 saving that we could use to spend on something else. So it's a really good uh, little watch. Um, you know, it, it's very useful. Been wearing it a lot. Um, and it, it's just very nice. It's, it, it's kind of just one of those things where it's like... It's always on you, so it's going to be very useful for you. You know, you're not going to be like... <clears throat> Sorry about my voice, by the way. Uh, you're not going to be like... Oh, I've got to get my phone out. You can just literally look on your wrist. It's always going to be on your wrist and, and, and yeah. Hang on. Wait a minute, guys. I'm going to have to go and get myself a drink of water because this is ridiculous. I can't speak right now. One second.
Fred then. I am back. So, got my drink, and uh, yes, I might drink at the wheel. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, yes, I'm going to call in the services. I'm going to do that. Yes, I'm having a drink at the wheel. Mmm. Mm. Print screen that. Go back into the, the cockpit. Cab view. Do this. And go like here. Print screen that. Go back over here because I'm veering. Veering, veering into the middle. Yes, that water does help. It's probably just starting to bring a drink of water. Just me when I record. Mm. It tastes good. But yes, uh, what else can I talk about? Oh yes, yes, this was funny. Um, the other day, I got in from school. I think it was it was, it was was Thursday. So that was, yeah, the Thursday. And uh, we got home and there was, you know when it's like, sorry we missed you, one of those. And you're like, are you joking me? And you're gonna, and you just think, oh, I'm gonna have to go to the post office and get my stupid parcel because because they deliver parcels when nobody is in the house uh, at, at work because they think that that's clever. But anyway, um, yes, that happens, and that's a thing. And um, oh my. Life. Um, let's just sleep. But anyway, um, I've got this thing, and we were just like, "What actually is this?" So, and luckily, they hadn't mm, funky music. Oh yes. Where's this come from? Ooh. This is funky. I'm just dancing it. Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Anyway, yeah, so we got this parcel, but um Luckily, it wasn't one of those, you need to go to your post office, which is open for one hour every day at noon. It wasn't one of them. They'd left it over the road. Um, people over the road were having work done. So, uh, they left it with the, 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 the bathroom people. Because bathroom people are people that exist. Um, but yes, anyway. Left it with the bathroom people, and um, so we went over. We got it, and we got we got this parcel. But before this, I was like, I asked, I said to my mum, "Have you have you ordered something?" And she was like, "No, no. Have you ordered something?" And I was like, "No, no." So like, I rang my dad, who was on his way home from work, and I was like, "Have you ordered something?" And he was like, "No, no, no." So it was like, it, it was like, what on earth is this? And for one moment, maybe my dad was thinking that. It could have been something that we won at the gadget show or something. Because there were quite a few competitions when we were there. And you did have to put your uh, address in on some of them. But I thought they would probably have... Yeah, yeah, you had to put your email address on all of them. So it would have been more likely that they would email you first. But, um... But anyway. So, um... We, we, um... We go over to to the to the to the neighbor's house and we we pick up this parcel off them and um it's 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 this it's this thing in a in a blue wrapper and we are like what it's like not it's not like this is clothes it was like hard it was flimsy it was like I, no one we didn't have a clue so uh, we opened it up and it was a UV box and we were like, um, it's been delivered to the wrong people, but 
Apparently it's because we're so loyal to Talk Talk. Yeah. So, we've got a free UV box, which is pretty impressive. But, um, we don't really need it downstairs, so I'm gonna have it in my room. But we need a Wi-Fi extender pad, you know those things that you plug into your, um, socket on the wall. And then you do stuff like that, and, um, and it gives you, like, an Ethernet signal. I don't know how it works, but uh, that that's a thing. We need one of them for it to, for, to, for, to work. So, uh, we're gonna have to buy one of them at some point, but, you know. At the minute, that's not really the main priority, so... Ah! Yes, I knew that was going to happen. Right. There we are. Okay then. So yes, it was a it was a free new view box, which I'm going to have to set up at some point. Um, but it's because we're so loyal to Talk Talk and their horrible call centres. Yep. I swear that they only have call centers in India so that they can do cheap work. They can employ people on the cheap and you don't get human rights or something. Calling them up and saying you're not paying these people enough because India is a very large country and they can't track everybody in that place. <coughs> um, so yeah. But yeah, we've got that. So I need to, I need to use that at some point. But um, yeah. I was quite surprised and yeah. Thank you to Talk Talk and your amazing Indian call centres. Nothing against Indians, but I just think that they should have British call centres and not automated machines. The ones where it's like press one if you want to cancel your contract. Press two if you want broadband upgrades. Uh, yeah, it, 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 they're bad enough, but then when it gets to the Hello, how can I assist you? And you're like Speak to a person And it's just like um, Really, really annoying because Because then things are annoying and they don't even understand you uh, So yeah, then things are then things are really bad and yes, my mind would like a drink Ooh. Even though I just got water. <clears throat> so it's getting dark and I need to get to Cali or wherever Cali is. I don't know where Cali is. Uh, what else can I talk about? Um Yes, I'm um ooh yes, I'm gonna be doing a de uh, dedicated video to this subject. Uh, Movie Plus X7. I'm using X5 and I kind of want to upgrade. I want to get a new editing software because it's starting to crash and not render videos properly and take like one and a half hours to render 20 minute video, which that's perfectly fine. I can understand that. It does take a while when you're rendering in full HD 1080p. But what I don't understand is why it's not rendering out some of the clips. Honestly, you guys do not know how much um, time that I've put into this sometimes. There was one time where I had to render one episode five times and it was to actually get it to work with all of the clips showing. Instead it's just, you know how in my Minecraft videos I have the, 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 the mossy cobble thing along the top and the bottom. It was just rendering that and not the mp4 clip that I have in the game because I make fraps uh, break up my uh, footage. Which I guess I could get around the issue by making it not break up my footage. But then again, I don't want to not break up my footage because it, it they are 3.9 gigabytes anyway, which is a bit too big. But, um, you know, yay, life's fun. So, coming down here. Okay, what is this music about? But uh, yeah, so we've got we've got that to to sort, and so in reverse, I think. 
and you go up here. Yes. But anyway, uh, that that's, uh, that was the, the one I was talking about. But uh, yeah, anyway, so uh, I want to upgrade to a different software because the current one is starting to get, you know, a bit broken. It is three years old, which, you know, that is understandable from a piece of software that old. Um, you know, pe some people are probably like three years old software, that's not actually very much, but when it comes to terms of um, editing and video, that is pretty old. Um, so, yeah, that, that, that is pretty annoying, but, um, this music's so funky. Um, yeah, it's, uh, useful that I'm have, that I might have to get a new software and obviously I'll be able to improve my editing skills, uh, but, but, um, but. But I've forgotten what I was going to say. But uh, that that's that that's kind of that's life. I'm in Calais, which is France, so it's the right hand side of the road. Ah, wrong way. The. Yeah, so I'm thinking I might end up going over to Sony Vegas. Or a version of Vegas. Whether that movie studio or Vegas Pro or Platinum or something like that. I don't know. But I think I might have to go over to that. And that'll obviously be a more complex software. Although I do, I am pretty good with video editing. Um, and I hate Adobe Premiere. That is like the worst piece of software invented ever. Uh, yeah, that's horrible, so I'm not going to go over to Adobe and it costs an arm and a leg for something that crashes and doesn't work and has been made too complicated for anybody who isn't the world's best video editor. Um, <clears throat> it's, it's, a, it's a stupid piece of software, that. So that might have to happen soon. So you may notice some kind of change in the editing style. Which I doubt, but you know, if it does happen, then you will see a bit of a change, I imagine. Because I can't keep editing them in the exact same way that I do currently. Uh, pretty cool. I might have to do that, I guess, maybe. But. Yay, he's got the same tree levers as me, I swear. But uh, yeah, that could be a thing. And I'm trying to do my family tree as well. I might as well mention that. Um, so, yeah. But uh, anyway, I think we are just about here. So, uh, I don't know how long this episode's been. Probably about 20, 25 minutes. You are Chuck's always quite long episodes. But, um... And you know what, I can never do the parking. So as you know, when it is me, I do that. Okay then, late, sorry, I do apologize. I'm still level three, which I do need to get a bit higher on my level and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, so I know it was late, but you never know, I did have to sleep. Uh, got a bit of experience as well. So there we are. That is it for this episode of Euro Truck Simulator uh, number two. And yes, yeah, so I hope that you have enjoyed it. If you did, then please leave a like. If you really enjoyed it, give it a favourite. And also remember to subscribe for more games, including Minecraft, Euro Truck, Assetto Corsa, Mighty Quest for Epic Loot when I can get it to work, tutorials, and vlogs. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. So. Goodbye.